hello everybody in YouTube land. This is Anomalous Zero, Vince Dragonborn. No, wait, I'm not Vince Dragonborn anymore. I rebranded. Or un, un de branded Anyways, Vince Dragonborn. Uh, I'm playing some ESO. I bought the game a while ago, and I have been past the tutorial to get to the bank to put in my special stuff, because I have the $100 version for, like, the special stuff. And it just goes to your first character. Even if your character is something like test... No, you can't see it. Can you see it now? Yes. Even if your first character is Testor McTesterson, the level 3 Nightblade. Uh, so I'm not going to be playing Tester McTesterson. This is literally just to test. Uh, what did I learn? I learned that the first thing you should do after the tutorial is definitely attack a guard. Because you will definitely get a bounty you cannot pay. And you'll have to run around like killing flowers or whatever, killing bugs for their food to sell to some of the merchants that will deal with people with bounties so you can pay off your bounty. And that's why I've been playing this character to level three or whatever for three hours instead of just the one. Because you can't use the bank if you have a bounty. I got some achievements though, like get an agile three or something. So let's make a new character. Again, I play the Little Trunk, do you have any suggestions for what kind of character I should make? Race and all that? Always willing for suggestions. And I could be Imperial. Dragonfall... what? How does this work? Is Imperial a race? Hmm. I thought Imperial wasn't a race. But yeah, I can be Imperial. Stamina, health, and luck, eh? So we could be a Breton. The Daggerfall Covenant. Oh, wow. There's, like, the races are... are the, wait, no. Spells. Spell. Okay, so the race is unconnected to the uh, Alliance, I guess. Oh, I didn't realize it was like that. So only these three for these three, these three for these three, and these three for these three. But Imperial can be any of them? Interesting. I did not realize that. So is Imperial pay to win? I like Red Guards and High Elves, but that's just me. I don't know. Let's just see what we got. The Brayton and the Daggerfall Covenant. The racial skills of the Bretons reflect their affinity with spellcraft, giving them bonuses to magicka and spell resistance. That sounds okay. The, racial the orcs. The racial skills of the orc reflect their people's harsh mountain environment, giving them bonuses with heavy armor and health regeneration. And the red guards. Red guards reflect their ancestral legacy as sword masters, giving them bonuses with shields and stamina regeneration. Stamina regeneration seems cool if there's no mounts, but there's probably mounts. Now it's the Aldemari Dominion. Hells reflect their magical affinity by increasing their damage with their struck spells and increasing their rate of magic regeneration. Wood Elves improved archery, stamina, and stealth make them a dangerous foe. The Khajiit, which is what I played the last time, reflect their natural agility, giving them bonuses to stealth, health regeneration, and combat. Now the Evanhart Pact... Reflect their perilous swamp, giving them bonuses to healing, restoration, and poison resistance. Whatever, I'm not a healer. Oh, I might be a healer. Dark Elf. The racial skills of the Dark Elf reflect their intellect and natural, giving them bonuses to dual wielding, fire magic, and fire resistance. Reflect their strong, hardy Nord, giving them bonuses with two headed weapons, health regeneration, and frost resistance. And the racial skills of the Imperials reflect their affinity for combat and diplomacy, giving them bonuses to stamina, health, and luck. I don't know what luck does. Yeah. Um, so you like high elf? Eh.
I have no idea. I guess we can always make another character if we care. Whatever, I paid for Imperial to be Imperial. Uh, I have no idea what matters here. If I recall, you have to play through everything to access the end game anyways. So... Uh, what do you think, Little Drunk? The Daggerfall Coven, the Aldamari Dominion, or the Emmenhart Pact? So you know what? I'm going to be the Aldamari Dominion. Never mind. I don't know why I asked. Um, I don't know. Let's just check a couple randoms. Huh. Okay, good. Yeah. High elves and Khajiit. What elves? Yeah. What's with their faces? Is that just me? Their faces just have, like, weird textures? I guess some of these are okay. Uh, I don't know which one I want. I guess I won't really be seeing their faces all that much. Maybe it could be, uh, Fursona or whatever her name is. Fursona. Whatever. Male. I think male is gonna what we're gonna do for this one. A uh, class. I do not know what the classes do. I know I know you get abilities for your race, you get abilities for your class, and I don't know, you level up and you level up stuff. I'm not really sure if there's optimal builds. I think you can reset everything. The skillful master at arms use the ancient Akavir martial arts tradition of battle spirit and wield fearsome magic that pounds, shatters, and physically alters the world around them. Sounds kind of cool. It's like a monk knight. Sorcerers can use conjuration and destruction. You hear a lightning bolt to create shock fields. You use dark magic and stun. Summons data combat followers. That sounds kind of cool too. Nightblade are adventurous and opportunists with a gift for getting in and out of trouble, relying variously on stealth, blades, and speed. Nightblade thrives on conflict and misfortune, trusting to their luck and cunning to survive. Templar. These traveling knights call upon the powers of light and the burning sun to deal massive damage to their enemies. Blah, blah, blah. Uh... Ancient martial arts... I'm leaning... Whoa! <laughs> uh... Anyways, uh... I did Nightblade before, I kinda liked it. I guess I can always make an... I think there's a, a level 15, you gotta wait to switch anyways. So I'm gonna be a Dragon Knight this time. All right, let's make my character. Uh, muscular, eh. Large. Height. Skin color, various shades of beige. There's not a... Here, let's just take off the gear. Get naked, sir. Twirl like a ballerina? Yes. I don't know how delayed this stream is. Uh... Eh. It doesn't look right on the frame. I have no idea, all these look basically the same. Let's just something in the middle. Bo 
body marking. Oh, there's like... No one's ever gonna see that, are they? What's this dude's backstory? Dragon Knight. That looks weird. That looks okay. I think I want this one. This one. Upper body, oh, you can just edit the torso size. Okay. Chest size. Does that actually do anything? Okay, I guess that does a bit. Gut size, get that up there. Did that actually do anything? I guess it did some. Did it? Is that is that doing anything? I feel like that's not doing anything. Oh, this is the gut? I thought this was the gut. Have I just been mistaken about that my whole life? Picturing what's his face from uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Posterior dimensions? What? Oh, butt size. Why don't you just say butt size? Posterior dimensions. Uh. Let's just max all this out. No, tiny feet. Tiny feet? Nah, whatever. Alright, sure. No hair. I don't like that. No, no, no. Maybe. No. 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 Maybe. Uh, probably that one. I say that one? Yeah, where is it? No. Yeah. Hair color, dark hair. Yeah. Age? How can you tell? You get wrinklier? You get, you get neck veins? Is that what happens when you age? It's pretty old. Adornment. Is that what's on the face? I should just turn these off so I can see these without. Oh, is that what the face looks like? That's not what I want the face to look like. Whatever. This will be its own little part, won't it? No, this is. Uh, maybe that one. Maybe that one. Where was I? Wait, adornment means beard? 
Well, I guess it's different for each uh, race or whatever. No, so it's like... Oh, and I guess it includes... So what was it? It was... Where'd it go? So it's this one? Or... That one? Hmm, I like the weird one. Just that. No, it was before I patch. Oop, there it is. All right. Forehead slope. Yeah, more forehead. Cheekbone size. Lots of cheekbone. Cheekbone height. Yeah, low cheekbones. Jaw size. Big jaw. Chin size. I remember doing this in the beta. Big chin. Chin height? Let's raise the chin up. Neck size. Big neck. Eyes. Color. I don't remember what color his eyes were. How about like that? Eye size? I don't really care. I angle. Eh. Eh, whatever. I separation. Yeah, like that. I height. Like that. I squint. Give him squinty eyes. Jeez, so many options. I browse. Oh, these are an options thing. I think it's that one. Eyebrow height. That eyebrow skew. Oh no, no skew. Eyebrow depth. Sure, whatever. No shape. just making it longer. Does, is there any difference between those last few ones? Alright. Nose height. Nose length. Mouth height. Lip fullness? Yeah, sure. Ear size? Sure, get tiny ears. Ear rotation? Uh, yeah. Ear height? I like that better. Ear tip flare? That's a really... Oh, really? Let me check to see mine to see if it's buffering and freezing. Hmm. No, it's not. Oh, well. Buy a little... Uh, actually... Let me finish this. I will try slightly different settings. Alright. Where was I? Ear tip flare. That's all, right? Oh, I need a name. Oh, obviously it's this is splints. Splints, um 
No more than two of the same letter in a row? You can't be... Really? Wait, no. No more than two of the same. Splints. Uh, what's a good last name for Splints? Robert. Splints Roberts. Looks good. Doesn't look good. Maybe too old. I think that's what this is. A. There's a million. Yeah, there we go. This is Splunt Roberts. Uh. Uh. If I hit create, it will go right to the tutorial, right? So I am going to take a break. This is Splunt Roberts. Um. I'm going to mess with settings, and then we'll see what happens.